I come back to friend James. <coughs> First of all, excuse me, my voice. I have a pretty bad cold, so I'm clogged up and have a really sore throat, but we're gonna stay. Anyway, today I'm gonna give you my first impressions of this Soul Soul by this is a collaboration between the big four. It's a listen soap shop, which the wet shaving store, Ray is Ray and uh, Smiles for Miles. It's uh, Shannon that has made the soaps and splashes, and it's Ray is Ray who have designed the artwork on the labels. It's great labels, and Smiles for Miles has made. Um, EDPs and uh, brushes to match the soap. It's Sol and Luna. I ordered both sets from um, Wet Shaving Store and uh, it's a limited run that was released the 22nd of July as far as I can remember and it was a restock mid-August once I ordered. It's a, a tallow based soap, beautiful pour. Quite hard soap, low dose oversized tubs, and it's really cool. Both the side labels and top labels. It has a great summery scent, fresh citrusy, and uh, the scent notes are uh, top notes bergamot, white grapefruit, and ginger. Mid notes are jasmine. Lily of the Valley and Geranium and Amber, Cedar and Musk is uh, are the base notes and I really get the bergamot <coughs> and uh, I can't pick up every bit of scent line because I have uh, quite a bluffed up nose but it smells really fresh. As usual with my a new soap I will to the ladder with my custom made turn and shave 26mm quarter moon knot and the razor is a Gillette New it's a Fort Use Astra Green this is the long conversion ball and handle so yes with the brush I think I could be wrong but I think this soap is a little bit different from the usual soap is from Shannon. I really love her soaps. And I guess this one will not be an exception from that. So let's see how much we should load. That should be more than enough. I'm gonna take some cold water and add it to my face. And get two days of growth. Did not feel very good yesterday, so I didn't shave. And actually, I had to call in sick today at work, which I hate to do. So I've just been home all the day. I think I'm feeling a little bit better. Just rinsing off the tub. Yeah, great scent. I really like that jar. <coughs> the other base from Elixir Soap Shop, which I are very familiar with, can take a fair bit of water. I guess this one is a little bit of the same. We will see. So just painting on the Paste and start adding water gradually. It has been really warm here, not as hot today, but yesterday it was up in 90 degrees Fahrenheit, or I think we were up in, I think it was almost 32, 31, 32 degrees Celsius. Today it has cooled off a little bit again. We've been in mid 70s but it has been clouded all day 
and it's supposed to rain a little bit during the night. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, I got a cold. Which was a gift from my children. Hmm. I'm painting in quite a bit of water here and as you can see it's just thickening up again, craving for more. Oops, another everywhere. I'm a messy shaver as you know. It's quite a strong scent from the tub, I would say at least 5 or 6 out of 10. Yeah, this knot is so good. And this scent soap shop is based in Henry's well in uh, Pennsylvania. And the wet shaving store is in is based in California, I think. I'm not the best in American geography, but I'm quite sure about that. It's taking a fair drink. Fantastic leather. Just a pleasure to lather up that soap. Really easy to lather. It builds that dense, thick, and creamy lather. Just as I like it. And look at the sheen to it. I didn't mess up that much with my leathers before. I'm in the bad circle, making a mess every time I face leather. Don't know why that is. First pass, go with the grain. Goes with the grain, sorry. Rock and roll, here we go. Really slick soap. Really feel my skin is protected. And the soap feels really good on the skin. There's still stock of the soaps at uh, the wet shaving store. As far as I could see on the internet.
great racer. So smooth. It's terrible public to see all that whiskers just being trapped in the ladder, making a mess down in my sink, but that's okay. As you once said, in one of our chain butchers, I didn't want was latest videos when you've gone a couple of days without shaving you can really see a big difference Like so, first pass it's done and over. Let's see how the residuals like this is. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. As I expected, it's really, really good. And I can really feel the sand even if I'm clogged up. Like Marines. Look at this leather. Oh, baby. You can tell I'm enjoying this. This is once again one of those soap which is really hard to rinse off the skin. The oils are just sticked, which is makes for a great post post shave feel. I can feel that on my hands when I try to rinse it off. This is a really light razor, so you need to mind the pressure, as you actually need to do with every kind of DE or SA. But it's more important with the light one because you tend to add some more pressure, but you don't. You don't need that. You just let it glide in the soap. This is so good. This is top tier stuff. I mean, this soap base. This is a first impression, mind that, but I know the soaps from Shannon from before and they are just great. As good or better than the very best out there. As good or better and they are really good for your skin as well. <coughs> oh. 
It was a little bit late to the party when the first release was done. So Sol sold out pretty fast. So then I waited until the restock. To order both of them, both Sol and Luna. Luna will be shown in a, an upcoming video, of course. No skin irritation from the soap at all. It just feels perfectly well on the skin. It feels so fantastic. Just pure awesomeness. Mm. Very good going down for a rinse. Excuse me again. Gonna do all of Tiny, tiny feedback on the middle of, on the middle of my neck around the Adam's apple. Nothing apart from that. Great shave, really close shave. The soap performed really, really well. This one is a banger. to say about the soap, so that's okay. And the matching splash, this is, which is my first time ever with a splash from Elysian Soap. And I guess it's really, really good. Great artwork, nice glass bottle, and the ingredients are organic witch hazel, alcohol, organic aloe vera, hyaluronic acid, Polysorbate, fragrance, essential oils, Gourmet Plus, Marshmallows Extract, and Vitamin E. So it's a witch hazel and alcohol based splash. Oh, nice cracking. And it has a great restrictor. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm.
Wow. Kind of milky. Oily consistency. A little more splash for Nick. Wow. That felt incredible good. Ooh. Magic on the bottle. Wow. It feels a little bit like a hybrid between a bone and a splash actually. Really great. Just cork that up. See how much slather there's left in the brush. A little bit there. of the brush I will certainly not need any bone on this but I brought in the soap commander integrity in a little bit of mantle so because it's here I'm gonna use just a tiny 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 bit But that splash feels to make wonders with my skin. That was me done and dusted. And what a shame we had. Really pleasant, best shave in many many days for sure. Okay, a quick recap. We went with Soul from Elysian Soap Shop by Shannon, a collaboration between the big four, Shannon at Elysian Soap Shop and uh, the wet shaving store, Smiles for Miles and Razor Ray Soap and Splash. Brush all tonight was my custom made turn and shave. That way, thank you. And Razor was my 1930s Gillette Open Comb Gillette New. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. It's Friday, so I wish you all a nice weekend. And until my next video, goodbye.